Hello and welcome to Iggy Boy's head tracking device presentation video. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you my homemade uh, tracking device and uh, how it works. Uh, I split uh, this video in three parts. First part I'm going to show you the hardware. Uh, second part I'm going to show you uh, the software I'm using and uh, at the end most important part is uh, the gameplay and how it works in the game. Uh, this is um, a cheaper solution for Trek IR, which in Europe is around 150 euros. Uh, from the hardware here, I'm using a Logitech C170 webcam. Uh, this one here. I modified this camera. I uh, removed the infrared filter and I put a light filter to block the external light for these purposes and uh, this is my uh, three-point clip I built uh, it's a very solid built clip you can't break it easily uh, all parts are tight no wires hanging around it's very light uh, so and um, once, once you attach it to your headset uh, you forget about it, you don't even feel that you wear it because it's only a few grams. Actually this cable is heavier than the clip itself and uh, this is USB cable this means this is a USB powered device, you don't need uh, external power source or batteries hanging on your head and uh, now before I move back to the desktop uh, to show you the software part let me just plug it first to show you what happens when you plug it to your USB ok it's plugged in uh, now on the camera you can see lights going out from LEDs and I can't see it uh, I would probably see it if I turn lights completely off in my room I would see dim red light coming out okay uh, now let's move to the desktop to see the software okay uh, now I switch to my desktop uh, I'll show you the software I'm using uh, first of all of obviously we will need a driver for the camera uh, Logitech uh, C170 I'm using here uh, is plug and play and I'm using Windows 7 and Windows 7 recognizes it uh, and uh, pulls drivers from the internet automatically once the drivers are installed you'll see here Logitech icon where you can configure drivers uh, the best way to configure the camera for use with the face track no IR software that I'm using in this example is to start it and then uh, play with it I'll show you in a second you can also use a free track software but I prefer face track no IR because um, it works great for me uh, I find it very easy to set up and uh, the software like the name says face track no IR which could uh, fool you and think that it's just face tracking and not infrared tracking but it's not because maybe they originally designed it for face tracking and I tried it with the face tracking and my PlayStation Eye camera but uh, I wasn't happy with the results because uh, you always need uh, a lot of light in your room otherwise uh, the camera is losing focus on, on your face and uh, it doesn't look well in the games and uh, most of the time I play at night and uh, in a dark environment and uh, this uh, point track works perfectly regardless of the light conditions in your room now uh, from the settings in face track no IR uh, we're gonna use uh, free track 2.0 uh, for the game protocol uh, filter is EWMA filter MK2 and the uh, tracker source is uh, point tracker 1.0 and uh, okay let me start to see what happens 
I already attached uh, the clip to my headset and as you can see it doesn't look well so let me go to the camera settings uh, camera control and uh, in camera control tab uh, I'm gonna uh, turn off this exp auto exposure and uh, I'm gonna turn off a low light compensation and uh, we're gonna lower the exposure until we see uh, something similar to this now uh, it looks good so uh, in this case I'm using minus 10 exposure without low light compensation apply and we are done with the camera settings now as you can see uh, as I'm moving my head this picture over here is moving as well but in the game that looks uh, even better uh, before I move to the game uh, let me just show you um, one important thing that you're gonna probably mess most of the time until you set it up the way you like it it's uh, curves uh, here I already have my setup uh, just uh, it might work for you as well the way I set it up or you might uh, change something here uh, as uh, you can see you have these graphs uh, one is for Joe another one is for pitch up pitch down and roll uh, Joe uh, this is your um, head moving left and right here we have uh, input degrees and output degrees what does it mean? Uh, this uh, input degrees is um, how uh, many degrees you turn your head towards the right or towards the left. So, and uh, this output is how are they uh, uh, transferred into the game. So, uh, my setting here is if I uh, turn my head. Uh, 25 degrees to the right or left it will be interpreted as 180 degrees in the game uh, by default I think it was something like this uh, but uh, that's too much before if I turn I, I have to turn my head 50 degrees to be able to check my 6 o'clock in my plane and that's too much because if I turn my head that much uh, first um, I'm losing the the focus and I don't see what's on the screen so I gonna put it back to uh, 25 degrees same as for pitch and uh, pitch up and pitch down uh, here I set up uh, you can set it up higher but uh, in the game I'm using I'm gonna use here War Thunder uh, the best to do it is to put it on 90 because uh, now that this means if I uh, move my head up uh, 15 degrees uh, I will see what's above me uh, and pitch down I set it up here for 20 degrees if I move my head down 20 degrees I can see my shoes in the plane and um, roll I left it uh, default because it works well so and also I set uh, you see this straight line and I set it at 5 on each of these settings uh, this is a 5 degrees dead zone that means uh, nothing happens before I pass this 5 degrees area uh, that's good because if you leave it on 0 then your view in the game will uh, shake uh, because you, you can't sit uh, in your chair while you're playing 100% uh, uh, fixed you always shake your head a little bit and uh, then your view will shake also all the time you see I'm now I'm trying to sit still um, but still these uh, uh, you see these uh, red markers they, they are moving constantly because uh, even the, the slightest move of my head uh, it's recognized that's why it's important to have these dead zones 
Okay, let me see uh, what else. Uh, if, oh, yeah. Uh, we need to check Joe and Pitch here inverted. Otherwise, if I move my head to the left, uh, my view will actually go to the right in the game. Same with the pitch. If I look down, my view will actually go down. And uh, uh, that should be it. Uh, yeah, let me show you one more thing. Uh, Face Recno IR is a free software. Uh, you can download it. Download it from this web page, facetracknoir.sourceforge.net. The current version is 1.7. Actually, it's 1.7.2 because uh, there is also a patch for it. And um, uh, one more thing, I here have a task manager running just to show you uh, what. Uh, where is my facetracknoir? Let me find it. Here it is. It's using like three to five percent of my CPU, and that's not much. That's almost nothing. You don't even really you don't uh, see something's going on. Doesn't take your resources like, for example, this one that is actually that, that I'm using for recording, and uh, I'm using pretty much old configuration here. I got um, old i7 uh, 920 at 2.6 gig and uh, 6 gig of RAM, so not much, but still uh, games are running smooth and fine. I can play in full details with this system and my NVIDIA GTX 570. Alright, let me close this and uh, let's move to the game. Now let's finally see how it works. Uh, I'm uh, in the game War Thunder, a World War II aircraft simulation, and uh, let's pick up one plane. Uh, gonna pick a Russian one because I like uh, the landscape, uh, landscape around Stalingrad, and we're gonna fly one test mission there, and uh, I'm gonna pick up uh, LA. No, I'm gonna actually let me take uh, Yak. I'm gonna take Yak 3 test flight uh, uh, simulator bells mode. In this mode, I have full aircraft control and um, no external views are allowed. And this is where we need our head tracking mostly. Okay, now uh, let's see what happens when I move my head slightly to the left. You see? Bring my head slightly to the right. I can move faster. forward in my chair and zooms in. Uh, it can uh, better aim at my target. If I lean backwards it zooms out. Uh, I can also read all my uh, instruments here, my gauges, which is uh, also very important when you're flying, especially in clouds when you don't see anything around you, then it's very useful for orientation and Let's start the engine. Check our controls. Oh, plane is already moving. Okay, my joystick wasn't in the position well. See, I, I just lightly. I, as I set up my uh, curves there in face track no IR software 225 degrees I just move my head slightly uh, 25 degrees to the left and I can see uh, 180 degrees behind me with 
without losing focus on my screen. Let's roll. Okay, this plane pulls to the right. Unlike some other planes that pull to the left when you're trying to take off. Uh, mode we also have uh, one uh, target that we can uh, use for practice to practice our aiming skill and shooting and, uh, uh, fly over the city and then head towards that target and uh, try to destroy it First time actually flying this plane uh, in a simulator mode, so I'm not that much experienced pilot here, but this is not important for this video. Important is that I can show you how well this uh, head tracking works. And let's head back to the airfield and hopefully land in one piece. and we safely landed and uh, this should be it I hope you enjoyed watching my video and uh, video and uh, and that you like my head tracking device and uh, until my next video thanks for watching it guys and bye bye